So, the next uh, module is module 4 uh, in which we are going to look at um, uh, again collateral interactions, uh, but looking at what is called as electrostatic interactions. Uh, they are also called as electrical double layer interactions ok. That is what we are going to do it for the next uh, few uh, lectures that is going to be the, the contents ok. Uh, we will start with one by one ok. Uh, today we will most likely look at uh, the importance of uh, electrostatic effects uh, and uh, origin of charges at the surface of particles and if you have some time we will also try and look at models for electrical double layer. Um, <coughs> so, coming to the importance of electrostatic effects ok, um, any thoughts uh, why is there a need to uh, look at electrical double layer interactions or electrostatic effects in uh, dispersions. Some, some thoughts? Correct, right. So, due to some surface charge, there, got, there can be attraction or repulsion, right. So, it turns out that you know these interactions are very important, ok, because uh, one of the example could be the, the stability of a, a variety of colloids, ok, be it food colloids, you look at you know colloids which are found in you know pharmaceutical dispersion, um, uh, paint, ok, as well as uh, waste water may have lot of contaminants which will have uh, the colloidal dimension length scale um, and the stability of all such things are affected by the surface charge on the particles ok. So, this is an example of a, a stable system ok, unstable system ok. So, if you want to think about you know having a, a stable uh, colloidal system one of the ways of achieving that would be by incorporating charge on the particle surface ok. So, that is one example. <coughs> so, the electrostatic forces uh, also play an important role in the conformation and structure of macromolecules ok. So, if you look at uh, uh, several charge systems ok, uh, that is uh, poly electrolytes ok, which are uh, charged polymers ok or you could have polymers ok with you know ions adsorbed onto the surface ok or you could have proteins ok which are charged and the kind of uh, conformation that they take in solution that means whether they would be in a extended configuration or they would coil up ok. So, that is determined by the surface charge that the these molecules may have ok. So, there is therefore, there is a, there is a lot of interest to look at you know, you know electrostatic effects in charged polymers and, and charged proteins with an intention of understanding what is the structure of these um, um, uh, you know macromolecules or structure of these entities when you put them in uh, solution that is one um, another reason to look at uh, charge effects in these systems. Um, uh, third is uh, if you look at uh, people use lot of virus particles as model systems right. Uh, in the initial classes we talked about FD virus you know TME ok uh, particles like this. Um, now, so these in these uh, virus, virus essentially is made up of made by the self assembly of large number of molecules ok. And uh, uh, so, basically the, the neighboring molecules ok from which the virus are you know made of um, they are actually held together by electrostatic interactions ok. So, that means the electrostatic interaction between the, the, the molecules of adjacent, adjacent layers uh, you know um, in a virus are held together because of the electrostatic interactions between uh, you know the mole between the molecules that make up these um, um, virus particles. The other examples could be that if you look at uh, uh, measuring rheology ok or the or the flow behavior of you know um, uh, solutions um, or flow, flow behavior of uh, 
uh, multi component mixtures uh, if it has like say polymers or charge colloids it has been found that you know the transport property such as viscosity is indeed affected by whether you have a dispersion with charged particles or uncharged particles okay people talk about what is called as a electroviscous effect in which okay we can you know one studies what is the contribution of the the charges of the particles to the to the viscosity of the dispersions okay and finally um, uh, uh, people also use um, uh, particles dispersed the charged particles dispersed in a in a medium um, and you can actually manipulate um, the spatial organization of particles so if i have like say a container okay and say that they have charged particles okay now when you are trying to use such a system for display applications what you should be what, what you should be able to do or you should have a control about the way the the particles organize in the solution right okay that will lead to a, a definite display that one wants okay and one of the way to do that would be that i take this dispersion and apply an electric field okay thereby i can modulate the spatial organization of particles in the solution okay so uh, therefore in electrophoretic display panels okay one uses charged particles and uh, and i can control their organization by applying an electric field therefore there is also a lot of interest to understand such phenomena how do charged particles behave in electric field what leads to uh, uh, you know the changes in the the display behavior okay so problems like that um okay so that's to tell you that you know there are various um, uh, fields okay uh, or there are various reasons why one could be looking at uh, charge effects uh, uh, if you come to the origin of charges we have discussed this in the initial stages okay uh, people typically talk about four different mechanisms by which the particles can um, acquire charge uh, preferential adsorption of ions uh, adsorption of ionic surfactants okay both um, you know cationic and ionic and adsorption of charged polymers uh, the fourth mechanism is uh, dissociation of surface charges right we have talked about these things uh, you know so if i say that i have a particle which has you know cooh group if i put them in water what will happen is you have cooh minus cooh minus plus 2h plus right so that's a a dissociation of the surface charge is leading to the charges on the particle surface right similarly we looked at you know adsorption of you know uh, maybe h plus ions or adsorption of oh minus ions you know can make either a particle you know positively charged or a negatively charged similarly i could have a case where i have a particle and then if i add a charged surfactant okay it could go on sit on to the the particle surface okay and i could either you know acquire a a positive or a negative charge depending upon whether you are working with a, a cationic surfactant or an anionic surfactant similarly the charged polymer can also go on sit on the particle surface and then make the surface either positively or negatively charged right we have discussed this already earlier so it's just uh, i'm just trying to um, quickly now when you have um, charged particles in a medium uh, so what is depicted here is uh, a particle which is negatively charged and po particle that is positively charged and you can think about this could, could be a, a dispersion medium right or a, or a solvent or a continuous medium okay so do you think this is a correct picture so if one asks you to imagine um, charged particles in a fluid okay do you think this is a correct picture maybe somebody says maybe yes somebody says yes i would say no the correct picture is this right you should imagine that you have charges on the particle surface plus you also have so the the system as a whole has to be electrically neutral right so if you take solution the total number of 
positive ions or positive charges should be equal to the total number of negative ions in the solution. Right? So, if you take a, a charge stabilized dispersion, if I count the total number of positive charges should be equal to the total number of negative charges. Right? Okay? So, so people talk about two uh, terms okay, which you should remember something called a, a co ion and a, a counter ion. Okay? So, co ions are the ions which have the same polarity as the charges on the particle surface. So, if I have in this case I have a particle which is negatively charged. Okay? If I put in like say NaCl into the system, I am going to have Na plus and Cl minus, okay, Cl minus. The, the Cl minus has a, a same polarity as the charges on the particle surface. Therefore, in this example, coions is going to be Cl minus. Right? In this case, the coion is going to be Cl minus and counter ion are the charges counter ions are the charges which have a charge which is opposite to the the polarity on the particle surface okay in this case na plus which comes from the nacl that i have added plus also the the other ions that come because of the dissociation both of them are count ions in this case okay so therefore whenever you talk about charge particles in, in a medium you should you know there will be co ions and the counter ions which respectively are the charges which have uh, the same polarity as the particles uh, as the charge on the particle surface and the of opposite polarity as what is there on the particle surface. Okay? Um, if you look at uh, literature uh, it turns out that um, so, I said this is a charge stable disp uh, charge dispersion and it is a medium. right? Now, if you look at all the body of work that has gone in in, in colloidal literature uh, on charged uh, particles in a fluid, uh, it turns out that um, in most cases uh, electrostatic interactions have been studied in aqueous system okay, or aqueous medium and you will see very little work. Okay. Uh, on um, of course there there is a body of work but um, in you will not see much literature okay on uh, studying electrostatics in uh, organic medium okay although it is possible to design particles that have charges when you put them in organic solvents if you look at the bulk of the work has been done using aqueous medium as a, a continuous phase you know as compared to organic medium okay that's a, that's the point that i wanted to make um, briefly i want to mention electrical double layer what is electrical double layer uh, this is going to be important because we're going to talk about this um, you know for several lectures um, um, you know in the, in the next few weeks or so okay so whenever you have uh, charges on a particle surface that's what is depicted here right the this is charges on the the particle surface okay the the surface charge on the particle surface causes an electric field right so whenever you have a, a point charge okay we know that you know if i look at uh, you know think about at any particular location e right at any, any particular location i can calculate what is the electric field right so it's given by a simple so if if f is q1 q2 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught epsilon r okay if that's a the coulomb you know coulomb's law right right r square right so f is equal to q1 q2 divided by 4 pi epsilon epsilon r, r square um, if that is of the force between the two charges now if i ask a question is to at a distance r from q1 okay what is the uh, electric field is actually given by f by q right if I, uh, let's let's say that i take a simple case where i have two equal charges okay and if i want to ask a question as to at any location at a distance r 
from this charge okay the electric field is given by a is f by q right and this electric field that is generated because of the charges on the particle surface what it will do is it will attract the counter ions okay it will attract the counter ions therefore if you look at this picture so there is a, a layer of charges on the particle surface in the immediate vicinity there is a, a layer of counter ions okay and these counter ions are attracted to the the charges on the particle surface because of the electric field that is created because of the charges on the particle surface okay so therefore there is a layer of ions on the particle surface and there is a, a layer of ions okay in the immediate vicinity of the charge surface so these two layers of charges put together they what are called as electrical double layer okay the layer of surface charge and the counter ions in the solution that is what is called as a electrical double layer right